Hey guys, it's Sean David here. Today is the very last day of my Launch DS promotion in that I am going to be giving away my course for $9.99. So there are, are some tactics that you can employ to raise your score quite a bit. And I'm not even talking about learning more about Tableau. I'm just talking about approaching the tests in a much more practical and pragmatic way. So number one, focus on the multiple choice questions. These multiple choice questions a lot of times are easy. So I remember when I took the test, there was a question that said, measures are A, qualitative or B, quantitative. I know that in eight seconds, I don't have to go through and, and really think about what, what's going on. That's just a fact that I can rattle off to where I had a, a student reach out to me a couple days ago that said it took them a minute to read one of the hands-on portion questions. So they had to digest what are they asking for? So they want to look in Monta Montana, they want to look at the second week, they want to look at in-stock percentage. So that's, that's kind of a lot of cognitive computing power just to digest the question. Then you have to go and connect to the data source. Then you have to pull in the right data, filter out Montana, pull in date, and there's just a lot going on there. The Tableau certification exam is 30 questions and it has a 60 minute time limit. So time management is huge on this exam. So once you've gone through and got all of the easy questions answered, I would flag the questions that you're not so sure about. Then go into the hands-on portion. So that's where you're going to have to use your skill set as a Tableau developer. And it's tough. I, I, I think it's a little bit unfair in that I've never found myself having to answer a question about Tableau in two minutes. It's just a little bit absurd, but I mean, I get it. They, they want to just test to make sure that you can quickly use Tableau. So number one, answer all of the easy questions. Number two, go into the hands-on portion. And number three, those ones that you flagged from question one, so the, all the multiple choice questions that you weren't so sure about, you can use Google on the exam. So this is a really nifty way of, of approaching the exam. So you're prioritizing the easy questions, get those knocked out and start tallying up those points on your exam. Then go into the questions that you're not so sure about. So we've basically rank ordered the questions on how easy they are. So you wanna get those easy points in the bank in your score so you pass. I unfortunately had a student who reached out to me who got a 69 out of 100. They were one question off. And you know what? If they would have approached the exam from a much more tactical, pragmatic mindset, I bet you they would have gotten one more question right. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Click the link in the description to get the promo code LAUNCHDS to take the course for only $9.99.